Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an image like this, something that was taken in the summer with lots of green color to it, and turn it into something that you would see in the fall. So right now it's the beginning of October and there's just not a ton of fall colors in our area. So if you have clients that are wanting to book a fall session or you just wanna add some kind of fall colors to your photos, I'm gonna show you how to do that in Lightroom. That's really believable and it's really easy to do. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just adjust my basic settings. So to save time, I'm going to come over here to my call her, uh, actually my life and color presets and I'm going to choose Blam. I really love this for the photo. It really gives it a nice pop of color, and I love color. So <laughs> I'm just going to adjust the temperature just a little bit because some of the skin tones look a little cool. So just adjusting the skin tones or the, the temperature will help warm those up. Okay, so there's a lot of light in this photo, obviously. It was taken at a time of day where there's still a lot of sun in the sky, so we have some blown out highlights you know, oh well, I don't care. You know, I'm, I'm sure people will give me a hard time about it, but I like the photo, it works for me. So I'm gonna go with it. I can adjust the highlights over here just to tone them down a little bit, but I really love the light, I really love the color. It kind of just ties into the whole happy moment of the photo. So what I'm going to do in order to make this look more fall-ish is come over here to my adjustment brush. Now I am in Lightroom Classic CC. If you uh, have a different interface, you might be using Lightroom, Lightroom CC or an older version of Lightroom. If you don't know what version you're using, uh, you can come over here to help and system info and it's gonna tell you right here. This says Lightroom Classic version 10.4. So if you just don't know along the way, you can always check there really quick. Okay. Moving on. So we're going to come over here to the adjustment brush. So the only thing that we're going to focus on is creating fall colors in the trees because the grass doesn't have fall colors, it's just the trees. So I'm going to scroll down, uh, make sure that nothing else is chosen on these brush settings and everything looks like it's at zero and I'm just going to come to the color and choose kind of a fall color, which is going to be over here. It's like an orangish, reddish color. Uh, you want something a little darker because you want it to show up better. So this is a good starting point. We might adjust it later on and that's okay. And then I'm also going to decrease the exposure just a little bit, just because there's so much light in these uh, trees to begin with. It will also make the color darker. Now I'm just going to move my brush all over the trees and yes i know i'm getting it on the people but i can always erase that so this just makes the trees look a little bit more orangish yellow kind of has that autumn glow now what i'm going to do to remove the color from the subjects is just scroll down to the erase and over here you can see like the little brush that has the negative symbol and I'm just um, adjusting the brush size with my mouse scroller. You can all also do that over here with the size, okay? So I'm just going over faces and hairlines, making sure all of that is good. Oops. I don't know why I did that. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> I'm going to, if, if this happens to you and you don't um, know where to find your brush, you can look for the pinpoint and when you click on it, you can go to edit it. So I'm going to come over here, erase, totally plan that for a teaching moment, by the way. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to erase all of that from their skin, making sure they don't have any orange skin. Okay, so now that we have some orange in the trees you can add more or if you don't like the color to begin with just make sure that that click point that pinpoint is clicked on and you can come over here and you can just scroll over the colors and you can see how they're changing obviously we don't want blue but you can see how 
just adjusting the dropper on this color palette changes that brush. So I really like this. It's kind of like a darker orange. It really makes, uh, makes it look more like autumn. Okay, so I'm going to close that out. And what I'm going to do next is just click new and I'm going to go over some more parts of the trees just, you know, here and there, little spots just to add some depth, some more color in other areas. And you can do this as many times as you want. Maybe you want to change the color of the second brush stroke, maybe add more reds to it or more yellows. Um, but really whatever you want to do and whatever uh, works for the photo just play around with it okay now if you really like these brushes and you want to keep them just come over here to the brush uh, drop down menu and you can save this current setting as a new preset and I'm just gonna name it orange leaves because this is what I used it for so if you want to come back in the future use it again it's going to be right there in your brush menu so now that you know how to make a brush, um, you can save it, use it again, and it's going to save you so much time. Okay, so I am done using brushes. It really added some fall color to this photo. Now I want to focus on the greens and the grass. Now, the greens and the grass are always really bright in the spring and summer, but not so much in the fall. So what I want to do is come down here. Let me just close out these little tabs and I want to come to the hue panel the HSL but we're just going to um, focus on the hue channel so I'm gonna click on this little dropper and I'm gonna click on a green part and I'm just gonna scroll down and as I'm scrolling down you can see the numbers here are shifting so this basically just changes the hue, the color of the color. Um, it's just making the greens a little bit more yellow. And this is great because in the fall, the green grass starts to turn a little bit yellow, then it kind of goes to brown. So this is a lot more believable than, you know, say something green, green like this. So I'm going to just tone it down to maybe, I don't know, minus 30. 29. I think that looks really good. Um, very believable for fall. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, the only thing that I might do now, obviously I'll add some sharpening, add a little masking for skin tone so the skin isn't too, too sharpened, and then maybe a vignette. Now, if you like these presets, I will leave a link below. Um, you can get these in my shop. I love the Life in Color presets. They really add so much color and vibrancy to photos. Um, but if you like to get free stuff, um, I also include these for free when you sign up for my Lightroom Lounge membership. And I will leave the link to all of that information below. So if you guys like this tutorial, if you found it helpful, uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. And also subscribe so you can be the first to know whenever I share a new video. Thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time. Bye.